Having understood the complicated concepts in the previous reels, now is the time to ask what could have gone wrong. It could be one of the following. 1. Loss of thrust. Any loss of thrust, full or partial, would seriously affect the performance of the aircraft and its ability to pull up and away from the ground. The Tejas uses a GE F404 engine. The engine is pretty reliable, but that doesn't mean nothing can ever go wrong with it, right? 2. Loss of control. The Tejas has a robust digital fly-by-wire flight control system that can operate normally even if three of its four channels fail. 3. Loss of consciousness. G-lock or G-induced loss of consciousness can happen because of continuous exposure to high G-forces. Although fighter pilots are trained to and quite used to handling high G, one cannot predict how the human body will react on a certain day. 4. Disorientation I have flown a lot over the desert in Rajasthan. A flat, unpopulated brown terrain merging with an indistinct horizon can be disorientating, especially during rapid maneuvers. I have experienced that myself. Disorientation means you don't know whether you're straight up or inverted or turning. I managed to fly straight and level for some time and recover my orientation. But then I wasn't in a display at a very low height. In the videos we can see online, this is how it went during the earlier displays. The aircraft banks towards the audience and turns in a negative G turn. Then it inverts, converts the turn into positive G and turns away. On that fateful day, as planned, the aircraft banked towards the audience. Then, as planned, it did the negative G turn. Then, as planned, it was about to invert to the other side when the nose dropped. Now, when the nose drops and the aircraft starts descending, the only way to recover is to get the wings upright. The wings came upright, but the aircraft kept descending due to inertia till, sadly, it impacted the ground. So, the possibilities of what could have gone wrong are many. A court of inquiry will carry out a detailed investigation. The members of that inquiry are the real experts. No point jumping to conclusions based on hurried, half-baked theories on social media. A soldier has fallen. A family is grieving. We need to respect their privacy and not let anyone turn a tragedy into a tamasha. Chai hands.